two years into it, um, when you think about the pandemic, what did we get right? And what, what, would, what do you think the opportunities would be if we, if we face something like this again? So it's interesting to think about this. Um, we delivered in a year 550 million vaccines. I mean, that's extraordinary. Was it enough? Do we need to do better? Do we need to do more? Yes. But we were able to have a vaccine in a year and then scale up vaccine delivery. This will happen again. It may not be in our lifetime. I hope it's not in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. But it will happen again. Um, how do you think we can better prepare uh, both nationally and globally for, a, for a, a potential new pandemic? I think we need a public health infrastructure that's ready to handle it because I think ours was really too frail to be able to handle it at this time. And I do think that if we had more health equity in this country, that um, we, you know, we wouldn't see these great disparities between, and, and in fact, I think we would all be healthier and we would all be able to tackle it better. We certainly need a public health that is diverse as the communities we serve. It is not just skill up our workforce. We need to make sure that that workforce feels valued. We need to make sure it's a revered place to be. We need to make sure that there's longitudinal funding. It's not you know three-year cycles because you can't hire physicians on three-year cycles or public health experts on three-year cycles. Where do you think we're going with COVID? What do you think the next couple of years are going to look like? And I will start by saying I know that this is not certainty. I think that overall our immunity is going to hold us in good stead. Um, I don't know whether we're going to need another boost and I don't know when. Um, and I don't know what that's going to look like. But um, I do think ultimately we will have good level population immunity for variants that come our way. And that even if surges come, the amplitudes of those surges will be less. We've talked about a lot. Is there anything that we haven't talked about that you'd like to, uh, like to address? It's just fun to be here. I know how challenging it is to train during this. We're tired and we are trying to deliver incredible care to really sick people. I just want to acknowledge that and, and thank you all for what you have been doing over the last several years. Thank you. <laughs>